Do you have cameras at that time? I've got it here. I'm sitting on it. Did so, you have cameras up at that time? Mm -hmm. We yes. have cameras. We do. That was a, that was an expense too, but I think we've used yes, some of that, it. Yes, and those those uh, young gentlemen are going to be are, are finding accountability. We'll say. I really through our cameras. Yeah. So I'd really love to answer any questions. Please feel free to ask because I can't anticipate every situation. The big thing is, is that this is why, I mean, it's such a great having this many people in this room. Um, make an attempt a couple times a year to come to our meetings. You know, um, or um, I try to remember on social media, I know some people aren't on Facebook. But I try to put our Zoom password and code. Even if you sit at home and watch it, you can sit and watch it on Zoom. I know we had some once in a while because you have an idiot running it that you have technical difficulties. But um, most of the time, um, we can get you in on Zoom. I think we um, Mark does a good job of setting it up. I think we got the, the bugs out of it um, to be able to watch it at home. So I, I mean, we want an educated public. We don't want you know, somebody start a rumor and it's all screwed up by the time it's at the other end. So learn it yourself. So I guess one question I have is, we have a, an interested group here, but are, do you have other plans to reach out to folks? I don't think there's a meet that can't be at um, Are there, are you picking up like a postcard or well, we, a, a, yeah, any yeah. other way to reach out to encourage well, we're, we're, we're counting on the people in this room that are are for this to help us a little bit. And we do have, I have some more signs, so that to me, um, it can start conversation um, too. So um, th that was a big reason I wanted to do this. Um, and I think, Larry, are you um, videoing back yep. there? So there, there's something that's going to be, through Kinsman Happenings, that it's going to be... Um, out there too. So um, the postcard idea, probably, you know, maybe we, that's something we can, you know, look into. Um, postcard for about the levy? Yeah, like a book, yes. Do a mass mailing. Do a mass mailing. Yeah. What is so, your goal? Well, we can't, we, number one, we can't so promote, so. we can't promote one way or the other. We, that's why we can't have township signs on township property. So I, mean, I personally signs. bought my own sign with my money, you know, and put it on my property. <coughs> I can do that. Yeah, the trustees in March paid for yeah, the but signs. I can, which that. someone came up to my sign on my property and wrote no. <laughs> 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 so, uh, and that's okay. I mean, you know, that person had, I, I they okay. should have just come down the driveway and would have had a cup of tea with them. Or they should have came tonight. I'd rather have somebody come educate themselves. They do. <laughs> so we're really out of time to do any kind of promotion. Election day is two weeks away, and a lot of people have already voted. You know, just in the future, you need to start before early meetings. Share of residential property taxes ten, minus about uh, ten percent for all residential property. Additional well, that's the state government. However, local governments receive less than they need due to years of state lawmakers' cuts to revenue sharing and tax reimbursements. The tax reimbursements are the probably that TAM fee tangible property, and their elimination of certain local tax sources. Um, and it says villages, townships, county health, and other human services levies are operating with about $1 billion less a year, adjusted for inflation compared to the level of 2011. So when I, when I put those figures together for the utilities versus what we're taking in, so 11%, we've gone up since 2016. Our bills have gone up 32% that we've paid. 
and it just keeps on going. It just keeps on disappearing. Right. And, and we just don't know what else to do. None of us wanted to do this. I work at the resource center mm -hmm. in Kansas, and I help people sometimes that can't get help because they have $17 coming in too much. It kills me. This kills me to do this because I know the people that live in town and have to pay taxes. So I see a whole different side of it. Believe me, we would never do and, this. And quite frankly, there is, there, there is probably an easy... I mean, it, it, it costs money to have nice things. It, it, that's the bottom line. Um, uh, we could, if we didn't have parks, we wouldn't be in this situation. Okay? Um, it, it's all what the taxpayers want. I mean, and that's why this shouldn't be an adversarial thing. Um, because all uh, trustee, all we're doing as trustees is giving you guys the decision. We're, we made the decision to put it on the ballot because we feel there's a need. But ultimately, it's the public that has to decide, is this what we want for our community? Or what do we want for our community? Because, you know, um, you know there, if, if it doesn't pass, we will have tough decisions to make that first week of January. Let me say one thing. I was a teenager, grew up in Williamsfield, Ohio. I come to Kinsman quite often back in the 40, late 40s, early 50s. And you had a bowling alley, you had a um, um, movie, theater. movie theater, you had a meatpacking processing plant, front facilities there along Saturn and so on. You had a lot of other stuff here when I was a teenager. It's all gone. Kinsman went downhill. Thank God, I think we're starting to bring it back where it's beginning to grow again. But for a while there, it, it went downhill awful. Well, the, the, quite frankly, the sewers were the, were the savior of this town. Right. That's ultimately the sewers were the savior. I mean, and, and, um, and that, that was the start of it, but the generosity of this community has done the step beyond after the sewers were here. I can't, I mean, I can't say enough for kinsmen people. I mean, the big sidewalks that they donated, I mean, just everything. That bathroom over at the, at the green space over there, that was pretty much all donated. I mean, we did contribute $12,000 from the ARP monies to do some of the lighting and whatnot, but that was it. So it didn't cost the township, it we took it from the ARP monies, thankfully. But that was all donated. People donated their time, they donated their equipment, they donated, and that's a beautiful restroom. Thank you, Bob Nina. And the park Bob Nina for and the park Nina. Yeah. And also, um, you know, we just have to keep it clean, and we have to keep it heated, and we have to keep the lights on. <laughs> so that's just, you know, something that's a necessity. Otherwise, it's just going to go... One thing we keep talking about Columbus. Okay, this is we need to to hold our elected officials down their feet to the fire because again, Amen. they are they are building their budget on our backs. And me myself, I rather pay taxes locally where I can see the result and I have input on it than send it to Columbus and God knows what they do with the money. Well, and when you have politicians down there that absolutely will not listen or don't show up for meetings or whatever, um, to me it shows that they don't have any interest in the township's problems. So we need to make sure that we reach out to um, our primary, our state uh, senator and our state representative, Michael Wojciech, and Sandy O'Brien, our state senator, and uh, make sure that they understand that uh, we don't need to be cut anymore.